Hey guys, so my partners at DeWalt sent me this line level laser, and I'm going to show you, this is the 20 volt max XR 3x360 high precision green line laser. Now it has three types of lines it, it shows, and I'm going to show you how we use this when we pour flat work. Now our flat work needs to be really, really flat, and in this case, this floor we're doing, you can see a 20 volt max battery, just about any of your batteries that you already have will fit in this. Um, you basically just turn it on, you press this, this two different buttons, this one gives you a, a horizontal line and then it gives you two vertical lines that go at a 90 degrees so you could use this for multiple different things. For us today, we're going to just use the horizontal line and this floor right here needs to be really, really flat. Now this is accurate to within an eighth of an inch and 50 feet. The beam you can the, visually you can see the beam for a little over 200 feet and by using the receiver right here you can actually use it up to a little over 300 feet now the receiver we use the receiver on a grade stick and when you get to within you know about an inch of the beam itself the receiver tells you if you need to go up a little bit or down a little bit to get to where you want to go now we were told we want to match this part of the floor right here the old part of the floor so we'll, I set the receiver on my grade stick right to where my horizontal line is and then I can go around and check the different types of things that the plumbers set like they have some clean outs here they have some floor drains in here I can check to see if the floor drains are set a little bit low and if the clean outs are set right flush with the level of the floor they want us to match as it turns out we need to adjust these a little bit I don't know, usually with the plumbers, they, they won't use a laser, they'll just run strings from one side to the other. So as we were checking these with the, with the laser, we noticed they were off a little bit. So the laser is going to be much more accurate than just running strings across a floor like this to set your, your plumbing. And I can see this part of the concrete floor right here was just about an eighth of an inch lower than the, part, the original part. Now here's another way you can mount this. Now you can use the DeWalt tripod or it has a magnet on it. So if you've got something metal close by, you can just mount it right to a metal beam. Which is what we ended up doing in this case so we could get the tripod out of the way. You'll see in a second why we need to move the tripod. So now that I, I reset the level of the laser different than what it was on the tripod now I just got to move you can see how it tells you to go up or down now I just got to readjust my receiver here to the different level and this is what this is the level we're going to use when we pour the concrete and you'll see why we need to have the concrete really really flat because they're going to polish this part of the floor they're going to end up polishing all these floors in here there I am checking that floor drain again to make sure it's low so here we are. This is how we had to pour the concrete using these power buggies. The access to the building was, you know, a, a little bit of a ways away. So, and they didn't really want to get a line pump in here. So they rented us. The people we're working for rented us two power buggies. And it was only it was like 13 yards of concrete. So it wasn't a ton of concrete we had to pour. And using these power buggies, it's pretty fast. Now I still have the the laser mounted on that metal beam way over there in the back you can kind of see it in the back and as we pour the concrete you know we're going to need to set some what we call wet pads some grade pads in the middle of this to strike off the concrete to make sure the concrete's really flat you know if you do a lot of concrete floors or slabs like we do having a laser with a high visibility beam like this one is critical to making sure you know your job comes out just the way it's supposed to and this, you know, after we got it all done, this is it. So again, this line level laser worked really, really well for us on this job. It's real easy to mount on a tripod like this. DeWalt makes their own tripods. So you just, you just screw it right into the tripod and it holds it really firm. Gives you a nice horizontal line as well as two different vertical lines if you need some vertical lines for something. And its accuracy was really, really good on this. So. I would highly recommend if you just need a, a high visibility laser to do your work uh, to get this laser. And if you need something with a receiver on it like we do, we use a grade stick a lot for checking different things, the levels of different things. This is going to work really well for you. 
And just to touch base on it, you don't just need to put it on a tripod. If you do have something you can mount it on, some type of metal somewhere you can mount this on, it's very lightweight. The magnet is really strong, so it's going to stick to the whatever metal you put it up against. And that's how we left it on this job. And then I'm matching the floor. Like I said in the beginning of the video, we had to match this area of the floor right here throughout the new concrete pour. And having the receiver on the grade stick was very easy to check different things. So I would highly recommend this. This was my first job using it. You can see how the floor came out. Here's your laser level right here. And for more information, you can go to DeWalt.com. And also, if you need their mag float, DeWalt makes a really cool mag float, guys. So thanks for watching the video. Come on back. We'll see you on the next one.